Ah. Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. Detailjuice.com. You see how hot it is today? Do you see the sweat? It's ridiculous. So July in Florida, Central Florida anyway, in the Tampa Bay area, is generally very humid, very hot, heat index of over 110 degrees and rain all day, every day, generally. It's hot, it's muggy, it rains. So detailing is generally a little slow in July. So we usually family vacay and do the things in July because work is slow and yada, yada, yada. Fortunately, products are flying off the shelves, literally. Yeah, I got some amazing stuff coming for 2023, but a couple of the cool things for 2022 I'm gonna show you today. So some of you guys know that I recently purchased the 1986 two-wheel drive, two-door S10 Blazer with a 2.8 liter V6. This thing is super, super nice for its age. It was uh, originally purchased in Bradenton, Florida, and about an hour south of here. It's been a Florida car its whole life. Um, it's in great shape, but it definitely needs some work. So what I'm working on right now, what I want to show you guys, is I want to show you guys how you would go about restoring nasty, faded, dry interior panels. I've got a trick that you're going to want. Check this out. All right, so antimicrobial everything cleaner. Just what it says. Kills germs. It's a powerful, versatile cleaning inside and out, uh, and it's ultra concentrated. I dilute it one to seven for everything. So two ounces in a 16 ounce bottle, fill it up with water, and that's what you see there. Other thing is tough tire gel. Tough tire gel is uh, an acrylic system that is incredibly weather resistant and durable when you use it on tires and trim on the outside. But the UV resistance is quite superior to everything I've ever used. Um, this will hydrate and protect, make things look new and darken them without having to add color. Uh, it will also penetrate, it has a penetrant in it that soaks in to the back of the plastic uh, or the leather and you build it outwards and it retains the last the elasticity uh over years and years and years of wear and tear if you're using this it is very likely you won't have any scratches well not scratches i'm sorry you won't have any rips or tears or cracks or that kind of thing i've not I've never experienced any of that especially on vehicles where i've used that from the beginning that product was developed it was reformulated for 2022, but it was originally developed about five years ago. Um, we just added some more acrylic to it, uh, a, a higher end acrylic, a, a, a better one. Every year, um, pretty much these chemical companies are offering newer, better options. So um, what we've got here is we've got a section here. I'm gonna clean and protect this section. And then on the super dry dash that has zero cracks in it, we're gonna get it straight before it does crack. So the first order of business always is to mix up your Amec. Uh, you can spray it directly on the surface, that's fine. And then just give it a good scrub. Get all the dirt and grime off. If you need to use a brush, by all means, use a brush. Um, I'm not going to because I just don't want to. Uh, plus this particular section isn't too bad. Um, so, you just, that's how you clean it. Okay, so now it's clean. Uh, if you notice, the arm oils and that kind of thing are still all over this. See how that lightened that up pretty good? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna protect it. It does not take a lot, guys. Get that down. Uh, the cool part about this uh, tire and trim gel uh, is going to be that you're going to get awesome, awesome protection and it's not going to look slimy or overly glossy. I'm just putting a little bit more on because I feel like it needs it. That's it. Just a pea size drop. In fact, that was enough to do this whole section. So after you've applied it, you would let it sit for a little bit 
and then you just go back over it and give it a wipe just buff it off and that changes everything if you notice we darkened it up and got rid of all the body oils and that kind of thing it looks awesome now i'm gonna do the same thing with the dashboard give it a good spray we're gonna get in here and we're gonna wipe all the dirt and grime off of it clean it up really nice okay get all the oils and everything out of there all right so that's good to go next order of business for that is to go ahead and oh the cool part about the amec is it has a primer in it the primer actually helps the tough tire gel to bond better so you just literally just wipe it in you're hydrating you can clean the windshield separately because i'm definitely touching it and all of the things put a little bit more on there but if you've got a classic car and it's been semi-neglected and you really are trying to restore it you should use this stuff before you go out and buy um, new trim panels I mean if they're not cracked or faded or broken or I'm sorry if they're not cracked and broken if they're faded we can fix them if they're cracked and broken obviously you don't want to if you notice what's happening is this is the third piece size drop I put on here but it's soaking in that's what you want you need that penetrant that's in there to soak into the plastic or the leather or whatever it is you're working on and you want it to really get in there you're trying to hydrate it you're trying to allow that penetrant to go to the back of the surface and then you can build it out so that's what we're doing so we're building it out now once you've got plenty on there again normally i'd i'd soak it like i'd literally just overcoat the crap out of it and then uh I'd leave it sitting for 30 minutes to an hour but for the sake of this video i'm gonna go ahead and just give it her give her a buff pull that tape look at that i'm gonna put a few more coats on it but you can definitely tell the difference and the uv protection from the tough tire gel is far superior to everything i've ever used on the interior of anything um it just it really works well it won't crack it won't fade i mean it just can't with this stuff in there that's the bottom line it just cannot um now obviously you know older parts are going to be different and you never know but um i would bet you you won't have any cracking or fading or any issues or any of that at all um if you don't like the superficial or artificial shine that it leaves behind you totally can buff it all out or you don't even notice any of it just like so still protected as you can see the untreated side versus the treated side but it looks natural and nice it brought the uh, you know the natural sheen back in the plastic and so i'm going to be doing all of the interior panels yeah just put new tires on the el camino wheels which i put on the blazer and i got brand new wheels and tires for the el camino currently it's rocking the blazer wheels but i, I did get new riddler wheels the riddler 650s uh and then i got three tires i'm still waiting on one tire then i can mount have those mounted in balance and put them on the el camino but that thing looks kind of mean with those blazer wheels on it i think uh today i put led headlights in the blazer i replaced that uh that D, that plastic piece down there because it was all nasty. I put on these auto vent shades. Did a few things yesterday. I had those uh, tires mounted on those wheels. Those are the factory diameter um, overall. So those are 18 inch wheels, which I think look great on that thing. I am gonna slam it. I'm gonna drop it probably four inches in the back, three inches in the front on the Beltec suspension. Uh, I may or may not put a uh, 3.4 liter 60 degree v6 in it from a 92 to 95 um camaro or firebird 
Uh, apparently that will bolt right in and then you use the throttle body from a 4.3 truck motor and that gives you 40 more horsepower over this one just right off the gate and it drops right in. Should be able to find one of those pretty, pretty easily. I believe this has a 700 R4 in it. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it is a three speed with overdrive, which is what, or four speed. Um, but anyway, the interior panels need some work. I gotta polish the paint. I may paint it, I don't know. It's got this wonky sun sunroof in it. Somebody put it in the early 90s, not a fan. So I may end up, it doesn't leak and it functions properly. I just hate it. I might weld in a panel and then body work it and uh, paint the whole thing and then put a new headliner in it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing to this thing yet. I just, I just want to drive it, want to enjoy it. But there you go, tough tire gel. This guy right here, all day long. If you're trying to restore interior panels or bring them back to life, that's what you need, period. Um, I did do this section here. You can't see it's too dark. Sorry. Um, yeah, just can't really show you. I have the seatbelts out cause I had to mail them up to Massachusetts to, uh, have them, re uh, repaired. I have not put them back in here yet, but anyway, you see how awesome just that section looks versus that. And then that versus that. So antimicrobial everything cleaner and this is in the wrong bottle by the way it's my personal bottle i throw in my gear uh the signature series products all use these black bottles so amec antimicrobial everything cleaner and uh, tough tire gel great on your interior you must use amec before you use tough tire gel on the inside or you you will not get the full effect so all right thank you guys so much for watching these videos and listening to me babble watching me sweat all of the things check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs and if you want to get some of the tough tire gel or antimicrobial everything cleaner or forever rinseless you may have seen those three products on motor trends motorhead garage uh it, back in may i was on the show uh pretty big deal business has exponentially changed since then it's been awesome uh so if you need me, let me know. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406, and uh, I'm here for you. Uh, check out DetailJuice.com, and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. Check me out on Instagram. I'll put that right here. That's Gary.Dean.35, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day.